Hi, I'm Daniel Fuller from the Abundant Life Training Center, and welcome to our daily community meditation, where today we're talking about a very simple concept, which is simply turn around. So this month in March, our message has been turn it around, and the best will be found. So the simple concept of turning. So what you think about is you got a puzzle piece or something that you're trying to make fit, and it's not fitting. Sometimes the answer is just you need to turn the puzzle piece around. So think of in life, often we get facing one direction. When all the grace, all the answers we're looking for, we can simply turn around, they're facing this way. And I've been thinking about this concept we talked about the other day, which is how God canceled the charge of our sin, canceled the charge of our indebtedness to him, nailing it to the cross, triumphing over the authorities and powers of darkness by the cross. He canceled that charge, and we were often, I think, focused on that negative charge. But if we can simply turn it around, we turn the other direction, we focus on the positive charge of what God's doing now. We focus on him and his greatness and his beauty and his blessing and his favor, his righteousness, his holiness, that he's more than enough. We begin to just simply turn it around. That's where all the grace is. Turn it around and the best will be found. And so we're going to take communion over this today. Asking God to help us to turn around and just face a different direction. And anything where we need to change our positioning. And something that's important to remember about positioning. Positioning is the key to order. And when things are in their proper position, it allows God's grace to flow effortlessly and beautifully and at new levels. So if we just sometimes turn around, we get things in the right place. Sometimes things are not in the position because they're facing the wrong direction. And we just simply turn it around and the best can be found. But let's pray. And then we'll get into our time of communion after that. Heavenly Father, I pray for everybody who's watching or listening, their families, their friends, everybody connected to them, and all of our church and governmental leaders. And I thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light into the kingdom of your dear son. I thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in Christ Jesus before time ever began. And that Jesus was struck down, he was smitten, he was bruised and crushed and destroyed so that you could be on our side, that you could be fighting for us. And I keep asking that you, the father of glory, would give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that we would know you better that the eyes of our hearts would be enlightened to know the hope to which you've called us and the riches of your glorious inheritance that is in us and the immeasurable greatness of your power to us who believe, the same power that you exercised in Christ when you raised him from the dead and you seated him at your right hand in heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and every name that is named. Not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And you put all things under his feet and made him to be the head of the body. The fullness of him who fills all in all. And Father, I ask you to bless us. And to make your face shine upon us. Let us find grace and favor in your eyes. Expand our borders and our territory. Expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ. And to let it flow through us so that we do good and are a blessing to people all over the world. Send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing today. And help us make the most of those opportunities. Keep your hand on us and help us do today what's right and best in your eyes. And do it with peace and joy and confidence in you. And we ask you to stretch out your hand to heal and do signs and wonders and keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And Heavenly Father, we're asking for your help today. Help us to understand how sometimes we just have to turn around. We just have to change the direction that we are facing. And the best will be found. The pieces are already there. The pieces already fit. But sometimes we just have to turn them around. To change the direction. And so, Father, we're asking for your help today. Help us to understand that. Help us to reposition and uh, turn around, reposition in the right facing, right direction. Anything that needs to be turned. 
so we can walk in your best. And we thank you that the night Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread and said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in your remembrance of me. We'd all missed it. We'd all turn to our own ways. And God laid upon Jesus the punishment that we deserved. And by his stripes we've been healed. He was crushed and destroyed by God, smitten by God, so that we could be right and holy and perfect in his sight. All through his one sacrifice. And God raised him up from the dead. He seated him at his right hand. And as amazing as it sounds, he raised us up together with him and made us sit together with him. And communion is a celebration of our union with him, being joined together as one. And so, Father, I thank you for this bread and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. If you have your bread, you can take your bread. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. He said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood, poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. And it's the forgiveness of sins that releases us from darkness and transfers us into the light, into the kingdom of Jesus. His blood washes us and cleanses us, gives us a fresh start in life. We can turn around. We can face this new direction in life. Walking out this day today in a covenant relationship with God. A covenant of love and grace and peace. And so, Father, I thank you for this cup. And ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. If you have a juice, you can take a juice. All right. So normally after our time of communion... We talk about some health and fitness tips. I think physical exercise is meant to teach us how to exercise our faith. And so just a quick reminder today. On those days when you don't feel like you have enough, you don't feel like you have the energy, you don't feel like you have the just the motivation to do the workout. Turn around. Stop looking at what you can do. Start looking to that unlimited, inexhaustible supply of God's energy within you. Turn around. Face a different direction. Start to look at something different. Start to look at that and begin to tap into that source of energy. But I hope this has been helpful for you today. If you'd like to be a part of what we're doing in the Abundant Life Blueprint, you can go to the Abundant Life Training Center.com.